Hi guys, welcome back. So things are hotting up. We've got our British and Irish Lions first test team out. I'm excited. It's a good team. Lots to talk about. You know, a mix of form picks, a mix of tactical picks and a bit of reputation as well. I'm going to go through this team and then I'm going to come back tomorrow with a bit of a matchup against the Springboks team. I'm getting excited. Hope you guys are too. Let's get stuck into this team. So first of all, at loose head, Wynne Jones does get his start. I thought he deserved it. Sutherland was close. And yes, Sutherland's on the bench. vinapola has been getting better, but I think if they'd gone for Vinopola, that would have been a big reputation call. Those two deserve it. Well done to them. And talking about deserving it, at hooker, Luke Howandicki, who has been by far the best hooker on tour, does start. So good for him, dynamic, but good at all the set piece as well. It was a toss-up between George and Owens on the bench, and Owens wins it. That's absolutely fine. We've been fine either way there. Of course, the one guy, or maybe there was a couple of guys who were guaranteed their place, but Tyg Furlong is there at tight head. And on the bench, Sinclair, I think that's the right call. Fagerson's not quite been at the races recently. Sinclair, good impact. So very happy with that front row. Um, almost exactly how I've had it uh, with a, a replacement as well. Now, one of the second rows we knew would be Mauro Toje, And he's in there because he's been playing great. Who's alongside him? Well, I thought Beer deserved it on you know actual performances in the second row. And unfortunately, he's not in the team at all. A bit tough on him, but he is an experience. Although I think his size, his reach in that mall would have been useful. They've gone for the reputation of Alan Wynne-Jones. And well, if anyone can pull it off, Alan Wynne-Jones can. His form before the Lions tour, I thought was really good. Of course, he's missed out a big chunk of this tour, or all of it as such. Fitness, familiarity with the plays are all big question marks. So it's a big roll of the dice. But they do get their captain back and their leadership back. So psychologically, that's a boost. Uh, it looks like the second row replacement would probably come from Laws moving from six to you know, into the second row because they don't have a specialist second row on the bench, which is interesting. Uh, Byrne could step in as well, but I imagine it will be Laws into second row, Byrne into six. And then in the back row, they've gone for the height of Laws. This is a tall team, you know, lots of options in the line out with Byrne to come on as well. Curry and Conan can both jump, so they're really going for that line out. Laws has been playing great. I just thought Byrne had been playing a bit better, but they've probably gone for the, you know, slightly more physical, taller guy in Laws. Byrne very good over the ball, so they will miss that a bit, but we should see him hopefully at six and uh, maybe Laws moving in to cover Alan Wynne Jones, who, you know, I'd be amazed if he gets through the whole game, but. You wouldn't put it past him. Massive call. At seven is Tom Curry gets the nod over Hamish Watson. Love both of these guys. Both great starters. I thought Watson had edged it on performance, but maybe they've gone for the extra, dare I say, size of Curry. Now, I'm in the Hamish Watson fan club. Don't get me wrong. I think he should have started, but at least he's in the 23. Let me know, guys, if you're devastated that he's not starting. But it's still, you know, two good sevens who can cover each other. And probably Tom Curry's covering eight as well, which is interesting. No space at all for Falatau or Simmons because Conan gets the eight shirt. What a great, uh, you know, tour from Conan. Everyone knows he's a good rugby player, but he's stepped up. He's probably the best balance number eight of all of them. Combination of carrying, great skills. You now, Falatau was, was doing okay. I thought he'd done enough potentially with his experience. Simmons, incredibly explosive. But Conan, well done to him. It's a shame we don't see a Falatau or Simmons in the test team, but maybe we'll see them later in the series. Anyway, well done to Conan. At nine, talking of guys that deserved it, Ali Price gets the call. So pleased about this. He's been the best nine by miles. Really quick, you know, start the game quick. But they've gone for the experience on the bench of Murray. You know, there's a lot of kicking and high ball expertise on the bench, which is interesting. In the starting team, plenty as well. But on the bench especially, that is interesting. Let me know what you think about that. Bigger starts at 10. I think that was an easy one. And Farrell does indeed cover 10 and 12. It would have been a huge call to put Smith in there. So inexperienced. I made it because, you know, I'm not having to make these pressure calls. But yeah, it kind of understandable. Is a little bit of a worry potentially, but Farrell does tick both boxes of 10, a uh, goal kicker and um, in the centres as well at 12. So three boxes, shall we say. So kind of saw that come in. Centres wise, 
He's gone for Henshaw and Daly. Very, very interesting. Uh, Farrell looks like he's covering Henshaw. Will Henshaw make it through the whole match? Um, but they are the best two centres, I think. Although Henshaw obviously you know, just come back from injury. Well done to Daly. I think that's well deserved. Real shame for Harris. He's been great. Harris, a better defensive 13 than Daly, as many of you point out. But Daly's skills, and I think his kicking especially, has got him into this team. Then on the wings, we've got Van der Merwe wins the race. I didn't quite see that coming, and no Josh Adams at all. That was so harsh on him. He's been great, as has uh, Lewis Rees Zammett. All three of them probably deserve to start, but he's gone with that power of Van der Merwe, and he does occupy defenders. I hope they use him a lot. Don't just leave him out there to field the high balls that are definitely coming his way. I hope he's used to really work in field, cause some problems for those spring box. That should be great. Uh, we have got Williams on the bench who could maybe go in for him if he's struggling or he's not being used enough. So that's an interesting one. I like the 5-3 split. I want those specialists. We don't want to be caught short uh, in the back three, that's for sure. Watson does, Anthony Watson does get his spot on the other wing. A good all-rounder, good call. And I am glad that Hogg does start. He is the slightly more exciting fullback, although... We do have the experience of Liam Williams to cover. So plenty of cover, plenty of kicking, plenty of high ball on the bench. Maybe not the most explosive bench, uh, particularly in the back three, uh, or sorry, in the backs. Uh, in the forwards, yeah, a lot more explosiveness with Hamish Watson to come on, Sinclair, for example. You know, some really disappointed players. Adams, very disappointed not to be in. Harris, Beard. But on the whole... Pretty happy, plenty to talk about. Let me know what you think of that team. And like I said, I'll be back with a bit of a preview of the game tomorrow and a matchup between the two lineups. Anyway, guys, I will catch you next time.